Okay, B11 problem number eight. Directions are to, to perform the indicated operation and then to write the answer in scientific notation. So here the operation here is, is the, to multiply this number in scientific notation times this number in scientific notation. Okay? So we'll, the way we're going to handle that is we're going to multiply these two numbers first and then we're going to multiply our power of 10. That's the easiest way to handle this. Okay? And, and then we'll go from there. So the product of these two numbers in scientific notation. 8.65 times 5.23 is 45.2395. Okay, and then the power of 10 would be, if I remember from my exponents chapter, 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 12. I can add those exponents to the same base there. And I get 10 to the 18th. Okay. So, I'm not done there. I did multiply, but if you read the directions, they say to leave your answer in scientific notation. This is a scientific notation because that number is over 10, right? 45, it's bigger than 10. So what I have to do is adjust it. So what I'm going to do is write just this guy in scientific notation and then multiply my powers of 10. So let me show you what I mean. 45.2395 is 4.5295. Kind of 10 to the first, right? If I if I move this over here, then just this number is going to be in scientific notation uh, 4.5, 2, 3, 9, 5 times 10 to the first. It is 45 is the same thing as 4.5 times 10 to the first, right? 4.5 times 10. And now I'm going to multiply by the other power of 10, right? So I had to do a little adjusting. So 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 8th is 10 to the 9th. And now I'm okay. Now this is in scientific notation between 1 and 10. And my power of 10 was adjusted. Um, oh, that should be an 18. So that should be a 19. Okay, so it was um, 4.52395 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 18th. And I did a little adjustment, which is going to add 1 to that power. So my final answer is right here. 4.52395 is 10 to the 19th. Okay, so look out for that. Sometimes with these problems, you multiply, and your number will be, it won't be in scientific notation. This number will either be greater than 10 or less than 10. And there's another step you have to do in order to put it in scientific notation. Other times, if you get lucky, that times that will be less than 10, and greater than 1, and you'll be done there. Okay, so make sure you look for that. All right, that was number 8. So keep working. Do the rest of your homework. Uh, remember, you got to do your homework in here in order to pass the course.